Today, I'm going to talk about how to slow down the aging process. If you want to look younger, live longer, and have fewer diseases, then this video is for you. Now, I know I don't look 75 years old, okay? And it's probably because I'm not 75 years old, I'm 59. But what I'm going to show you is based on a huge deep dive into this longevity topic. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of the mitochondria before, but the mitochondria is the energy factory. And so you're going to be as healthy or live as long as your mitochondria is functioning in, in good shape. So without getting into too much biochemistry, if you've taken a biology class, you may remember there's something called the Krebs cycle. And the Krebs cycle is basically a little circle. It's like an assembly line. And there's various steps and different chemicals involved in this little assembly line. And it starts with food that enters this Krebs cycle and it ends with energy. And I think the biggest thing that was missing when I studied the Krebs cycle was something called cofactors. This Krebs cycle requires nutrients to go from A to B to C. Because if you're missing a certain nutrient, instead it becomes bottlenecked and things back up and you're not gonna be able to make the energy and so by this additional understanding of nutrients related to the Krebs cycle, we can quickly see that in order to turn glucose or fat into energy, we need nutrients. And the reason I'm even bringing this up is that I'm leading up to this one molecule. It's called NAD. And NAD is involved in extracting energy from food. NAD is a very vital molecule in helping you live long. And the energy that it's going to make is called ATP. It's also involved in preventing muscle loss, especially if someone has cancer. It's also involved in protecting you against radiation. And here's the big thing you need to know. As we age, the NAD decreases. Researchers have found that there's this thing that has eaten up NAD. And this thing is called CD38. In mice studies, when they're born without this CD38, they live a long life. They don't have a lot of health problems. So there are five compounds that you can start getting from your diet that can then keep your NAD very high so you can live a long life. So let's start with the first one. It's called epigenin. Parsley has the most epigenin of all plants that I could find. The next one on the list is thyme. Then we get oregano basil, celery. These are various spices and herbs that you can use on your food on a regular basis. Okay, number two, anthoxanthin. And you can get this in the following foods. Blueberries. Anything blue, purple, or even red has high amounts of this particular natural chemical. Elderberry is really also good for your immune system. Then we have the Concord grape. Purple potatoes, okay, are loaded with this. The next one is called curcumin. And you might already know that one is in the turmeric spice. And then the next phytonutrient is called quercetin. And the food that has the highest quercetin is the onion. Most of the quercetin is in the outer part of the onion, okay? So when you peel the onion, don't peel it too deep. And then we have the apple skin. And of course, apples are high in sugar, right? Well, if you just ate the skin of the apple, you would get a lot of quercetin. And then the last one on the list is called methylene blue. Now, this is not a plant. This is a synthetic dye. This was actually the first drug that was ever invented. They used to use it for many different things, but it seems to be a good inhibitor of this CD38, which can then increase the NAD and increase your longevity. If you haven't seen my video on methylene blue, this might tie this whole topic together for you. So for that information, you should watch this video next right here.